All right, today's topic, this is about the Wii Spot incident. Remember the one that we brought up earlier where the woman kind of flashed herself, uh, the trans woman flashed yep. her, her wiener and then this lady lost her mind? I'll be clear with you. It's okay, it's okay for a man to go into the women's section, show his around the other women, young little girls under age, your spa, we spa, condone that. Is that what you're saying? I'm up, I'm up here at the, at the we spa and a man, okay, comes in slinging his I, I, I almost want to fall out. I couldn't believe what I saw. And you got some women scared to say something. Baby, I'm not scared to say a thing. The blood of Jesus against this wilding out lying spirit. No. It was like, this is fake. After we covered the video, everyone's telling it's fake. And I was yeah, like, it's fake. Apparently, it's I didn't look at fake. It's I saw fake. an Asian lady, a random black lady, and a random white lady complaining. I said, listen, if they got the Justice League to complain about this incident, they did a great job <laughs> casting it. But I didn't believe it was fake. Anyways, there's an update. So. This man came in, started flashing his junk in front of the young women. It's a Korean spas, if you aren't aware. Everyone's naked. They go to one side, females, males on one side. And, you know, you go to get massages. You go to hot tubs. It's kind of like a day off for the ladies to go and feel comfortable. Old women, young women, whatever. Okay? And this transgender individual who had all their anatomy was walking around flashing their thing in front of kids, adults, didn't give a f Okay? These women complained. It turned into the viral video that you guys witnessed. And there's a nine-year-old and a 14-year-old that's never seen a penis before. That traumatized that, me to see that, that. We are women. Yes. And that traumatized us. Yes. No, but I'm saying we're older women. We're not little girls. Right. And we're here yes. to protect the little girls because it's not, it's not okay. It's not. And now I can't even go and put my clothes on because he's down there. Yeah. And after this, protest was happening around the spa. Women were showing up saying, listen, we're not against trans rights, but we don't accept the idea that people with male anatomy be in the female section. Mm -hmm. It makes us uncomfortable. And Tifa showed up, started actually attacking some of these ladies. That sign doesn't do anything for anyone. You're just hating on people for no fucking reason. Are you being violent? It's just crazy to me. I don't know. They literally attacked these women for saying, I don't want my young daughter. And I don't want to be uh, witnessing the male anatomy when I'm naked in a female only space. And they attacked them. They literally physically hit these yeah, people. Yeah, but Antifa's going to Antifa. And then other people came out with these news reports and sending it to us like, yo, how could you guys report on this? This looked fake. Well, come to find out now that the LAPD has actually filed charges against someone and this person has a record. Indecent exposure charges filed against trans women over LA spa incident. Prosecutors have filed multiple counts of indecent exposure against this uh, exposure this week against a transgender woman whose alleged conduct was at the center of a viral video that sparked a pair of violent protests outside of a spa in Westlake this summer. Darren A.G. Marager was charged Monday with five counts of indecent exposure. Marager has been registered as a SEX offender since 2006 as a result of convictions for indecent exposure in 2002 and 2013. Her comments are, everything about the Wii Spot was a bunch of garbage and lies, Marager said. She says she's legally female in California and was in the jacuzzi in the women's section where she was accosted by Cubana Angel. She never saw me naked. I was underwater with the water all the way up to my chest. Is that why multiple women who are unrelated to each other said they all saw you naked? 
I don't know. I'm I'm probably far more reluctant, far more likely to believe a bunch of women who are unrelated to each other, who all had the same complaint and felt very uh, like uncomfortable with you, especially considering your prior convictions for indecent exposure. Just saying. You still got to get in the spot. You got to get in the jacuzzi and out of it. So, yeah. When you when you're on a fin offenders list, can you even be around young girls? You're not supposed to. But then it might vary through states. But whoa, she is also facing six felony counts of indecent exposure over a separate locker room incident in December 2018. Los Angeles County prosecutors accused Marajo of indecent exposure to women and children in a changing area at a swimming pool in West Hollywood Park. Whoa, that's crazy. That's crazy. That is crazy. This person got a long ass rap sheet. Now look, again, I don't think this is necessarily indictment on the trans community per se. I think this comes down to some of the fears that other people mentioned, which a lot of people said were unjustified mm -hmm. about the whole idea is like, if you guys remove these protections, then spaces that were only supposed to be for females and supposed to keep them feel safe are no longer going to have that if people who have the male anatomy and the male physique end up going into those spaces. I said what I thought in the previous video, so I won't repeat all of that again no, today. To. Just so I don't have to repeat what I said before, I'm going to just splice it in. The thing that's fucked up is that it's unfortunate for, for trans people. At the same time, you don't want to discriminate against a woman, but you don't want to discriminate against trans people. You don't want to put them in a dangerous spot where they have to change in a man's bathroom where it's not only discriminated against, they could be physically harmed. And you don't want to discriminate against a woman and the kids. That's why I'm saying it's like a, ugh! Trans people are uncomfortable on a day-to-day -day basis, on an everyday basis. So... You have to understand that the person, the people that are uncomfortable every day. Now you want to put some of the other people comfortable. And I know that's not the LGBTQ community. That's just that person that did that. That's unfortunate. All right. So here's the truth. There's no easy solution to this because one, she told a trans woman to go into the men's bathroom, you know, blow in the way she did. There's a lot of unsafety, lack of safety there, right? Because they're going into... You know, that bathroom, they may get discriminated against. Then they go to the women's bathroom, they're perceived a certain type of way. Um, so I recognize that for trans folks, it's not an easy thing to have to pick. Nope. On the flip side, now we have to talk about safety and well-being and what it means. You know, let's take it from the kid's angle. I can absolutely see that there are people out there who would take advantage of these new laws and walk into a bathroom for kids and maybe girls and be extra creepy. Mm -hmm. If we live in a world with so much trafficking, with so many uh, dudes who like to fondle kids, with so many people who like to... Of course, I'm not saying trans people are out there trying to do this weird stuff. I'm saying there's people who are posing who would... If they're willing to pick kids off the street and off playgrounds, why wouldn't they try weird stuff like that? It's people who flash kids. So why wouldn't they do something brazen like that? Mm -hmm. Especially if it's legal. To me, it's a safe space for females. Even though you may identify as a woman, that's fantastic. And if you want to offer through life, for most facets, that's fine. But I think there should be certain spaces that should be reserved. Why? Because at the end of the day, women, females, have a certain fear of men, including transgender women, right? You guys can understand that. And there should be safe spaces for you guys as well. So I would include a third bathroom. That's my personal opinion. I think that's the only way you make this work. Uh, I don't think there is another way other than, you know, you not having the anatomy because it just triggers something in people that... It's very real, you know, for folks who have trauma and whatnot to see somebody flash you, you know, whether intended or not. It's like, I can understand that discomfort and that wanting to get away. And so, again, this is not meant to be like, yo, but I got nothing like that in me. But if women are saying they feel unsafe in these spaces, they don't want their kids around these spaces, they don't want their daughters. You think I think that's crazy? Of course not. And. I'm not even one of those people who are like, protect the ch People are crazy about kids right now. With trafficking and everything, this is, this is a, a, a given. Considering what kind of space a bathroom and a change room is, where kids and women get undressed and change, yeah, it's a very vulnerable space. So I don't think the solution is to send the males to the men's bathroom. I think it's to create a third one. That's my personal opinion. So... I think there's a discussion to be had. I don't know what the solution is. Y'all make your own choices. I said what I thought in the previous video, so I won't repeat all of that again no, today. No, we don't need to. But, but there's definitely a discussion to We need have. to stop acting like this is just the boogeyman and some random thing because clearly it isn't. This person has been doing this and has a rap sheet for the last couple of years and has done this at numerous occasions. Loophole! So, yes. 
I'm not surprised. Where you create these rules, there's always going to be people who are going to abuse them. So we have to find better ways of protecting protecting folks. So that's my general thoughts. But now no more. Stop saying he's the boogeyman or I'll part some transphobic hosts. You need to stop saying that everyone who's against some of these ideas are inherently against trans folks. That's crazy. That's crazy. And again, just so I don't have to repeat what I said before, I'm going to just splice it in. So that's it. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. Sempre chove